Hey guys, welcome to our second series of our web browser tutorials. Today I'm going over the famous Opera, not Oprah, Opera. And Opera to me has one of the nicer, more nicer user interfaces to it. It's like just when you start it up, you see this beautiful bookmarks and just nice little rounded um, corners to the rectangles or squares or whatever those are and those are your bookmarks and I just think it looks really clean really web 2.0 ish and just really simple just everything about this is simple and they just make it really inviting but on the other hand you can preload your bookmarks so say you wanted to add a new one just click add a new one you could add google dot com boom bam and then add to speed dial I guess their bookmarks are called speed dial but yeah so that's basically their home screen type thing for a web browser and you can see up here you have your navigation bar so type in google dot com has a nice auto complete to it and it's really quick surprisingly I was really curious at first about how downloaded web browsers onto a device could be quicker than the web um, the web browser that came on the device but surprisingly most of the web browsers that you can download on your device are actually quicker than the browser it came with which is kind of strikes me as a surprise but what Opera's thing is it kinda compresses the content down to like a minimal and then it loads it back up super quick I don't know how it works but they say that they compress the content as much as they can and then somehow it all works but I don't know how that exactly works but I just like that it's really quick and easy to use and it's faster than the normal web browser so I like that about it and it also kinda converts it between the full version the full site version and a mobile version so not every site is gonna be mobile version since not all sites are formatted for mobile version yet so you're gonna kinda get a half and half but Opera does a nice job with Google. It kind of integrates the classic version with the mobile version, but it still says it's the mobile version. But I think it looks nice. So you can see here, it's really easy, just like Dolphin Browser, if you might have watched the other video, that it's really easy to navigate through tabs, unlike the classic um, browser it came with so it's really easy as you can see down here there's a button right there t for adding new tabs so you can just click that boom add a new tab right here and it's just really easy you can go to your little um, bookmark page here say you want to add a new tab of Facebook and it's just really easy it tells you how many tabs you have open right now easy to swipe back and forth through the two or three or four or whatever you have open and I think it's just really nice and easy to use and on here you can see you have your little menu bar you can see your bookmarks saved pages you can find in a page so it's kinda like find and replace but just to find which is pretty neat um, your history your downloads um, you can share a page you can get help on the app and your settings so I'll take a look into the settings you can have Opera tur Turbo I have that off just because it kind of wastes battery but it makes it a lot faster um, single column view I don't personally like that navigation bar of course you're gonna have that since you're using a uh, web browser and that's about it for the settings but you can download um, you can download little 
things. Uh, 